So Ben, Sandvik Coleman, you're very well known for some of your advanced roughing strategies, and I know we want to talk about one of your tools today, so maybe, maybe start. Yeah, so uh, we've recently released our new high feed side milling tool, uh, the 2F380. So this is our 5 times D uh, product uh, that's uh, material specific when it comes to titanium machining. Okay, so we're talking small chips here. Yes, certainly. We're looking at smaller engagement. Obviously, we'll still get the you know, high metal removal rate. This product can uh, operate up to 230 metres per minute uh, when we're looking at titanium machining. Uh, and that's due to our patented form control design. Uh, with this product, we have a, a dual helix design uh, that changes around the two and a half times E uh, transition point. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a, a, quite a unique tool and, and it gives us a lot of uh, advantages when we're you know, trying to operate these kind of datas. Yeah, so what's the reason for doing that, changing the helix? So it helps with the, the dynamics of the tool, you know, keeping the, the stiffness in the product. And obviously it helps us to get a really good surface finish uh, when we're looking at uh, machining titanium. You know, the advantage really, you know, we can try and get rid of a, a secondary tool when it's looking at the finishing passes. So even though we have, do have a non-symmetrical chip breaker on the product, we can still get a good surface finish during the machining process. Mm -hmm. And we're talking very high uh, RPM there, so presumably we're coming right back on our AE on the step over. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we can operate up to around a 4-5% uh, as a maximum. You know, we see a real advantage when we're looking at uh, 1%. You know, that's when we can really see an advantage getting that metal removal rate and operating at the 230. We do have to back it off a little bit as we start to bigger engagement. So it's really important to try and get that balance uh, between you know the radial engagement but also the VC that we're trying to operate at. So if we look at the video it's all predominantly OD work but you can you can do slot milling and pocket milling also? Absolutely you know the through coolant that we've got on this tool certainly lends itself to you know a, a trachoidal milling method if we did have a, a, a long a deep slot to do but also for pocketing applications as well so yeah it does lend itself to that massively. So if it's a closed pocket uh, can, I presume we can't drill with this tool, so we're going to have to ramp in or something? Yeah, we can helically ramp down with this, although it's not centre cutting on the bottom. You know, we do have the, the ramp angles. Normally we'd say around a two degree ramp angle that we're going with this tool. Uh, helically ramp down and then we can open that pocket up. And because of the, you know, the chip breaker that we spoke about, you know, we have the small manageable chips. So that with the through coolant means that we have no problems with it comes to chip evacuation. So the tool is five times diameter, but you know, what, what the ratios do you have? Yep, yeah, so uh, with this product, you know, we have a, a wide range of radiuses available as well as the diameters. And this kind of complements the, the other products that we have within this range. You know, high feed side milling is a, a big area for us that we've got and something that we've been doing for a long time now. So, you know, as you look at our portfolio, you know, we're going from the, the two times D high feed side milling now all the way up to the five times D high feed side milling. So we've got, a, a, although, you know, we're looking at titanium today, we've got a, a lot of options available that can cover a lot of different materials as well. So we're talking titanium here. So we're absolutely. targeting aerospace, maybe some form of the one motorsports. Yeah, absolutely. Any applications when we're looking at titanium machining, you know, deep pockets, long reach, then, you know, certainly this is the tool that we're looking to apply. And just finally, this tool is fairly new still, but what, 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 you know, what do your customers think of this tool? Yeah, I mean, the customers are seeing fantastic advantages. As we said before, you know, the ability to get rid of a, a finishing tool, you know, on an operation, you know, gives a massive advantage to them. So, you know, we're seeing really good results with this product.